There was another major issue on the ballot across America on Election Day this week. It was crime. Around the country, voters rejected calls to defund the police. In Minneapolis, for example, given a chance to dismantle their police department, voters overwhelmingly said, no way, Jose. And it wasn't just Minneapolis. In races from New York to Seattle, voters saw a need for more policing, not less. We're joined by Sergeant Bet Betsy Brantner-Smith, a retired Chicago area police officer and spokesperson for the National Police Association. Thank you so much, Sergeant, for joining us. Um, Got to feel good. Unfortunately, we had to go through that er era of defund the police, but it looks like we're going to refund the police now. Sergeant, your thoughts? Well, let's hope that we've got a return to sanity, Eric. You know, th this all started with this false narrative that somehow American law enforcement uh, are dangerous to our community, when in reality, less than one half of 1% of all black lives in this country are lost in conflicts with the police. In our native Chicago, 80% of the gun violence victims in Chicago are African American. Police are not the problem. And so I think what we saw in, of course, Minneapolis, uh, in some of the elections in Seattle in, and in other areas is that we're having a bit of a return to sanity, but we've got to speak up for American law enforcement. All of us do, Americans do, and say we need our police and they need funding, they need training, we need to hire more police. But you know, here's the thing, Eric, with the vaccine mandates that you're seeing around the country, that's one way to kind of defund the police behind the scenes. And we've got to make sure that doesn't happen. A hundred percent right. A hundred percent right. So they, they just don't call it defund the police. They they eliminate the police by, by requiring a vaccine mandate, a certain percentage of every group, no matter if it's law enforcement or or the Girl Scouts are going to not get a, a jab. They're not going to get mandated jab, and you're going to lose those people. So you're right. Minneapolis, I find very interesting. There was a, 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 a bill that was ready to go. Um, Elon Omar was all pushing it all left and right to literally de dismantle the whole police department. What are these people, these leftist morons, thinking when they're talking about doing these things? Well, and let's not forget, Ilhan Omar spends thousands and thousands of dollars every year on private security. Security for me, not for thee. That's her motto, just like the rest of the squad. And, and so here's the thing. In Minneapolis, there was this initiative, very much funded by George Soros and other far-left groups, to get rid of the Minneapolis police departments, which is one of the most professional, progressive police departments in this country. But let's get rid of them and bring this Department of Public Safety. But what they didn't tell you in that ballot initiative is there were still going to be police officers having to do police work. But what this initiative would have done is taken the control of the department away from the city, brought it to more of a group yep. effort, which is not how you fight crime. We've had no. a 30 percent increase no. in homicides around this country, and we've got to do yeah. something about it. American law enforcement's ready to do something about it. you got to let us. Sar Sergeant, I... I, I hate to do this. I got I to gotta end here because we have a hard break coming up again. But you're in my city, Chicago, my hometown. It just it just pains me to hear, see these elevated numbers. Uh, 2020 was elevated. 2021 is coming in right at the same number. Sergeant Betsy Brantner Smith, thank you for being here. Thanks, Eric. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.